everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a bit of a haul video. I've gone a small bit mad <laughs> about beauty things in the last few months and so I've bought quite a lot of new makeup and new skincare items and so I thought I'd catch you guys up on what I've been buying um, because then we can share and share thoughts and um, experiences with brands and things. So yeah, we were a bit of fun. Start with um, skincare, so if you're interested, please stay tuned. Okay, so as I've been promising for quite some time, I have been promising to tell you guys about my new job, and I will do in another video, but I'm sorry, it's not gonna be this one. Um, basically, my new job, I am now part of a beauty um, team, I guess. I work, oh, can I talk about it now? Yeah, why not? I work in a department store, and I work half my time in the office and half my time on the shop floor. And I work sort of on the skincare and body area of the beauty bit of uh, of my department store. So um, I am really au fait now. I've got to learn and got to know about all the brands with the company Ren. And I know an awful lot of people on YouTube talk about Ren and I've been really wanting to try out their products for quite some time and so when I was reading up of what to try and what to you know what sort of skin type I was because I didn't really have a clue before and I still am a bit like what <laughs> it's a massive learning curve um moving from footwear to skincare and it's just something that I'm really really loving and really enjoying learning about but it just takes an awful lot of um conscious effort to make sure you read and learn all the time about all these new treatments and all these different needs that people have with their skin. But anyway, to delve into the um, world of skincare, I decided to pick up the Ren Rosa Sinfolia Skin Exfoliating Cleanser. Um, skin? The Gentle. Why did that even read out as skin? The Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser, sorry, and also the Express Makeup Remover in the same range. Um, I have been using these now for probably about a month and I would definitely recommend the exfoliating cleanser. I love the idea of exfoliants, I don't use it every day, I use it about once every two or three days, so probably about twice a week would be my average use of this product and I'm really, really enjoying it. It's very gentle, so I don't know if next time I might actually step up to their microbead cleanser which is slightly more abrasive um, and, use this, and use it less often. I'm really liking this product and it's really helping smooth out my skin and I'm having sort of a breakout at the moment. I don't know if it's from working with aircon an awful lot more than I used to, um, but it's just become very dry and I know I know exfoliating obviously doesn't help that factor, moisturising will, but I think the best way is to try and get my skin back to as healthy and as new as possible and then I can moisturise it from there. As for the Express Makeup Remover, I don't really know as to what I was hoping this would do for my skin. It's not really doing an awful lot. I understand it's a makeup remover, but it's not a cleanser and it's not a toner in, in within itself. So I'm not going to be buying this again. I have got an lot, awful, lot awful lot of it left, so I will be um, using it up. But, you know, it, it's, it does the job that a baby wipe does. Sorry if I offended anyone by saying that. And then after the baby wipe, to cleanse and tone afterwards would be my preference. But, you know, each to their own. With those two products, I also got a couple of samples um, from Ren, which were the Micro Polish, cleanse, uh, micro -polish cl Cleanser, which is what I've spoken about before. It's a slightly more abrasive um, exfoliant to the one that I actually own. And I'm, I'm quite enjoying using it, actually. It's part of their Radiance collection, and I like the smell a lot. I like the smell and um, I do like what it does to my skin so I think that might be my next delve into the REN range. The Glycolactic Mask by REN which is amazing. Um, it's got a AHA acids in it and it just helps kind of strip the skin and get it back to a really good base. Um, and I've really enjoyed using it. It hasn't got rid of all my breakouts so I'm hoping once that's sort of calmed down again I'll be able to use this and get my skin back to a really glow glowy start for the spring and summer and I've also been been using the frankincense revitalizing night cream which is amazing it's so thick and um, sort of creamy and it sinks in really quickly so you don't have to you know worry about getting it on your pillow or anything and yeah I really like the smell of that one as well and it's for all skin types so it just is a good every night sort of based cream I think I might need to delve towards the more dry skin typed creams but yeah, that's a completely another conversation. <laughs> Sorry. Again, with the skincare, I've got three more items. 
I've got the Quarterly Beauty Elixir. Everybody and their mum on YouTube talks about Quarterly um, Beauty Elixir and I can see why. I was a bit sceptical at first and I thought £11.50 for that tiny little vial of um, liquid. It's a limited edition packaging by the way, that's why it's little swirls. But it just smells absolutely incredible and if you're having one of those days at work and you think, oh my lord, this day is never going to end, or you feel really tired and lethargic, a little spray of that and you will be awake for the rest of the day. It's just so lovely and refreshing. I am already more than halfway done with it and it's going to be sad when that's finished. But I would definitely repurchase. Another two are some more cult items, some La Roche Posay. I have the Everclaw Duo Plus, which I'm trying to see if it will get rid of any of my breakouts at the moment. And it's amazing at unclogging your pores. I um, suffer with kind of clogged up pores around this region, around my nose and cheeks. And it's just been amazing. I pop that on um, before my makeup in the morning. I don't always put it on at night, but if I've got a really bad sort of skin day, I'll pop that on at night. And it's just been very, very cool. 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 I said that very overpronounced. It's just been very good for me. I also branched out and went for the La Roche Posay Rosalic UV Legary. Legary. It's an anti redness moisturizer, basically. And again, as well as. Um, clogged pores I get very red in my cheek and nose region as well as my chin and in summer I just tend not to try I try not to wear any foundation I try not to wear much makeup at all so I've been trying out this almost green based hang on I've got a little film in it green based moisturizer I don't know if you can see it's got a slight blue green tinge to it rather than it being completely white um, and I've been really really impressed with the results it's it's not particularly moisturizing as far as i've been aware but you know that might be because i don't use it every day um but as far as the anti-redness it really is amazing and great for having underneath makeup for drugstore finds i've been experimenting with the new baby skin um instant pore eraser um, i'm not falling in love with it i hated it when i put it all over my face i didn't mind it when i used it in certain areas and you know just sort of dot worked it around my face, so around my nose and around the middle of my eyebrows. It's a nice texture but I didn't think it lasted particularly long, but that might just be me. I've also gone for the bronzing primer by Bourjois, which I've never noticed before and I didn't know they actually did until I went on the Boots website and had a little, just a little gander through and see what they had. And it's definitely a dupe for the Soleil de Tan by Chanel. It smells almost chocolatey, which is on the lid it says, what does it say? Um, addictive fragrance, so that's quite nice. <laughs> I haven't used this an awful lot and I need to play around with it a bit more. As you can see, I have um, delved into it and it's a nice, I'll show you on my skin actually. So you dab that into there. Put the lid on. It's something that I'd like to play around with more. I might do a video on it actually. So you put it on and you think, oh my lord, what have I just done? <laughs> I've actually got quite a lot on there. But you rub it in. And it's quite a nice tan colour and it's quite natural, to be honest. So yeah, I think it would be lovely um, for the summer when I don't wear any makeup. Well, don't wear much makeup without a foundation and then just sort of using it as a cream bronzer. I think it would be really, really lovely. But that's something to try out. I don't know if I've shown these on my channel before, but I've got a little bit of, of an addiction to the Maybelline lipsticks at the moment. These are the Colour Sensational um, in Neon Red, which is a wonderful glossy um, bright red colour. They're amazing because they just look so glossy on the lip. They look like a, they look like a gloss or a balm almost, but with really, really intense colour. I really, really like that. I think it's just something different for me personally. I don't know if an awful lot of brands offer that, but... For me, it's different. I've also got, oh, what was it called? Their Shocking Coral, which is an amazing coral colour. I have got their Fuchsia as well, but I think I've left that in my makeup box. And I've also got and one of their nudes, which is their Tantalising Torp. And I'll just swatch those on my hand. So it will go Torp, the Coral, which is such a pretty, pretty colour, and it's going to be amazing again for spring and summer, my favourite months funnily enough. So I've got Neon Red, um, the Coral and then the Tantalising Torp. Very pretty. <laughs> now I've got to be careful not to get that on my jumper. 
But anyway, now I've had a bit of a delve into the luxury makeup um, market, I guess, and I've had a bit of a splurge at Dior. I am a newfound addict of <laughs> the Dior Skin Nude Foundation in 020. I have been enjoying this now since about November time. Oh, it's a bit dirty, I put that back on um, when I added this to my collection. And I'm, you know, it's really lovely. It's a skin glow makeup. I don't know if I'd repurchase it because I feel as if I'd like a little bit more of a glowy finish to my foundation. But I've really enjoyed using it and it's got great coverage. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin at all. And it lets your skin breathe, which I am quite happy with. I also really like the smell. The other items have been the Dior Skin Nude Concealer in 002 which I asked my consultant for, for under the eye. I do find it quite dark for me, but then I am really pale at the moment because it's um, it's March and I haven't really been outside because the weather's been rubbish. And I asked for it for the under the eye area to um, try and make me look less tired, um, but I don't know if it's really working. It's very sheer, which is lovely, and it's very hydrating, which is also nice, but I think it might be a little bit too sheer for my big black circles under my eyes, but you know, whatever, we shall see. And I bought another one of the um, brow styler, which I've had before. It comes in the one color, which is the universal brown, and it's just amazing to have with the spoolie on the end, and you don't have to sharpen it, and it's just great, so I bought another one of those. And then the other day I went to MAC. I shouldn't have gone to MAC, but I went to MAC. <laughs> and. Um, They've got their new collection out, the Fantasy of Flowers, and I saw this um, mineralized skin finish a couple of months ago on one of the beauty bloggers in America, I believe, one of on their blog, and it is perfect topping. Let me just take a moment to show you that because I think that's just gorgeous. <laughs> I had to have it, and I was telling all the girls at work, and I was like, I need this, I need this. So um, yeah, I bought this. I also a couple of months before that bought, as it's sort of like a cute cumulative um, haul I'll show you that I bought the matte bronze bronzer which I have hit pan on and I use all the time and I'm loving so I'll definitely definitely be repurchasing that bronzer I think I have had it in the past before and then I went off it thinking oh yeah I'm gonna try hula no this is brilliant as is this um, and I'll just swatch the um, perfect topping for you because it is limited edition so if you love it you need to order it online ASAP so it's just here it's just a beautiful highlight colour and it really shimmers wonderfully as do all of the um, mineralised skin finishes but I just don't like the I love the Stereo Rose, I think it's so pretty, which is the other mineralized skin finish of the collection, but I just don't get on with pinks very well, because I am so flushed on my cheeks, it adds just a bit too much pink going on, for, for my personal taste, but it is a lovely colour. Um, I got the Opu Lash Optimum Black Mascara while I was there, massive, massive brush, um, really nice formulation, and I'm using it today. I'm really liking it. I will do a review, hopefully, if I get along with it. If I don't, I will also do a review, if I remember. <laughs> I got the Creme de Nude lipstick. I've been a MAC, MAC Myth user for the longest, longest time. So I thought it was just about time to try a new lipstick. And I thought Creme de Nude was a nice little step in the same direction, but in a more... The um, Creme de Nude is more of a gloss finish. I think it's a satin. Do they call it a satin? Cream sheen, I'm sorry. It's more of a creamy finish, whereas the Myth is a matte. And I got two eyeshadows. Oopsie daisy. It was a it was a bad day. I had a bad day and I was like, right, I need to go treat myself. I'm gonna go to Mac. Um the satin eyeshadow that I got is cork, which is just a lovely all over the lid um matte. Well it's not matte, it's a satin, but sort of just matte brown colour. I asked um my consultant just what would you recommend as an all over lid just really basic colour that I can wear every day on its own or I can layer it and she recommended me cork and I have been really really liking it. I have green eyes so that colour just suits me really well sort of being more of a yellowy tone um, yeah more of a yellowy tone brown I'm really liking it. Also one of the other ladies that work there she had beautiful smoky eyes on 
on her, on her eyes. Um, and I said, what is that lovely glitter that you've got on? You need, you know, that looks amazing. And it was this, which is one of their pressed pigments. And this is in Day Gleam. And I don't know if that's going to show up quite as beautiful as it is in real life. But again, I'll do a little swatchy swatch. For you, I'll just put it here. I don't know if that's going to show up, but it is just so gleamy and so glittery. That's not going to show, but it is just gorgeous. And again, I don't know if you can see it on my finger there. Pretty. And um, the cork as well is going to be here. So that's it quite built up, but it can go on pretty sheer as well. So I'm just going to pop it here. Should not have done that bourgeois. Um, bronze is so blooming thick, it's everywhere. But yes, and that is everything. So it's a, quite a big beauty haul for me. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I will be doing some first impressions or some reviews of things because I find that really helpful when I'm looking for items. So if you guys would like to see any, please let me know and I'll speak to you guys soon. Have a lovely, lovely day. Enjoy the sunshine. <laughs> Bye.